good morning. It's me. Hi. Sorry, I'm 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 struggling a little bit in this particular AM. I did not sleep very well. When I did sleep, I slept funny and then my back hurts. <laughs> So I'm, I'm having a bit of trouble sitting up straight, but I need to or else I look dumb. <laughs> if I don't sit up straight, I just look like... Yeah. Well, I guess it doesn't really come through because it doesn't capture. That's the problem. So I'm taking, I think I'm taking a much needed break from the Resident Evil remake for today. I'm taking a much needed break. Because yesterday the vibes were just atrocious. Some people, I think, can make a good stream out of a game they don't like. I think I just get sad. I just get sad and annoyed. So we're just, we're doing something a little different today. Just a little bit different. Something historical and educational. Sort of just like I stumbled upon this idea the other day. <laughs> I just it just kind of came to me in a fugue state where it's like, oh, there's actually some goofy Halloween shit you can do in Civ 6. That might be a fun gimmick stream. So uh, here we are. Here we are. more energy at the moment. I'm just 
just kind of vibe to the music, so do excuse me. This is, well, I'm listening to a collection of Michiru Yamane's greatest hits. She is one of the primary composers for the Castlevania series. Um, lauded and famous for having like the most banger soundtrack of all time. Just like collectively. for the slapdash knee trip today. It's just like things didn't go super great. <laughs> Thing, things, things went the opposite of good yesterday, so I just, I just wanted, I want to distance myself a little bit from video game that makes me feel rage. I wish to distance myself a little bit from the video game that gives me a broken flamethrower and doesn't let me fix it! This is so sad. So enough about me, enough about me. How are you, dear chat? Dear beloved chat, how are you? On this Thursday, the 6th of October. How fair be? How fair is thou? What, what art thou up to? What doth be shaking? I mean, a, a, a loom is the thing you use to like make thread and stuff. But what, what is the, what is all caps loom? I'm not sure I've heard of all caps loom. That is true. If you have, oh, I see. One of those. <laughs> I see. Perhaps Loom is best left to somebody else. I'm more of a lumber gal. <laughs> Not much of a seamstress. games make me furious. <laughs> Those game designers think they're so clever. No room. None. I mean, okay, like, like, give me a hundred dollars and I'll play Loom. Those are my terms. dollars up front in cash. Otherwise, this dream will go loomless, and that's a promise. I'm holding loom hostage. This is a stick up.
Um, speaking of making me do things in exchange for cash dollars, I I've been thinking, um... I I've, I've been thinking. I've been thinking with my brain box. And you know... I, I, a bunch of people have actually asked me to play Fable Frame, and even though I know that Fable Frame will scare the hell out of me because it's ghosts, and I don't like ghosts, Beaver is afraid of ghosts. You can put that down in your Beaver weakness list. Ghosts. I've been thinking that like, maybe that could be part of like the Halloween party. Like, when the sun goes down, I can like turn out all the lights and play and play fatal frame or something and just be very scared <laughs> no i just i'm scared of ghosts which ghostbusters game there is a ghostbusters game i do want to play it's like a like a, a side scrolly sort of shooter thing. It's it's fun. You know, it's for the Genesis, and I remember playing it. Ba -ba. The 2010 one. Oh, you know, I think I remember seeing a Let's Play of that like forever ago. I remember that game actually looked kind of good. I remember that game actually looked kind of dope. Cause it, like it had like it had like all the original cast members, I think. Was Harold Ramis still alive then? <laughs> I can't remember. Dark is a, dark is resistant to ghosts. Dark types fuck up ghost types, cause they are darker and more fucked up than even ghosts. I think. Honestly, it, it's it's a fool's errand to try and make sense of the Pokemon type chart. It just is. Everybody but Sigourney Weaver and Rick Moranis. Well, Rick Moranis, he like he like quit from like being an, a public person. He quit from being a person. No. He, like, he retired from the public eye to spend time with his family, I think. So that makes sense. I see. I see. What could that is that might be a fun game to play. That might be a fun game to play. Well, Bill Murray is like ancient now, so he probably. Bill Murray just, like, there's a whole gag in a movie that Bill Murray kind of looks like a walking corpse. <laughs> so I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna get, get on his case for, like, not being full of, of vim and vigor and decisiveness. I remember from what I watched, that was like, it looked like a fun game. Like, it looked like a, looked like a very good, confident sort of Ghostbusters video game. And you know, those are a little hit or miss. That was a little hit or miss sometimes. Sometimes you have to prove the justice of your culture. But then sometimes you get to go into a burning building and like fight a sick ass flame man. Uh 
curse this vessel of flesh and bone because my bone hurts. <laughs> I slept on the boat wrong! So that's both ghost. Maybe I can just have like a Ghostbusters couple days. Just, just be a Ghostbuster. Um, I think it's the same Juice family. I think it's like same high fructose corn syrup distribution. You know. I have actually seen Bloodstain a bunch of times. But I, I really like that game, so it's not like I couldn't do it again. <laughs> maybe I should just maybe I should just play through Bloodless again and simp for Bloodless. The most beautiful girl to ever live. <laughs> Please take my blood, I don't need it. Castlevanias. Castlevanias are very Halloween. I I have many options. Like I just today, <laughs> today kind of caught me with my pants down. You know. Today kind of caught me off guard just because like I had I had raid last night and it was like raid is strenuous. And then, like, I had to do some other stuff after that because, like, you know, I... <laughs> Sapient being has things that must be done. And I didn't expect, like, to hate the second half of Remake so much. I didn't expect to feel so aggrieved. So I just, I had to kind of scramble for something to do today. That's okay, cause I have I have the solution. I have the solution. A really goofy civilization game mode. I don't wear overalls literally every waking moment of my life, you know. No, we're not playing Gandhi and nuking everyone. We're we're playing um secret society zombie apocalypse mode. Cause those are things. Not only are they silly, they're seasonal. I mean, I guess, like, playing as Gandhi and nuking everyone isn't, like, precluded, but that does seem a little rote, you know? That seems a little bit like, a little bit like, oh, this has been done. <laughs> I think there's even, like, an achievement for it. This is like, I thought we were past this. <laughs> I thought we had moved on. Oh, and then there's, like, another one, um, where, like, if you play as Chandragupta, the other, the other leader of India, and you nuke somebody, it's like, very, it's, I, I forget what it's called, it's like, haha, -ha, very funny or something. I don't know. I don't remember. I could probably look that up real quick. 
he can make one overflow error. You make one overflow error. This game has a lot of fucking achievements. Oh, okay, so... <laughs> I thought we moved past this is... I thought we moved past this joke is as Chandragupta launched a nuclear weapon. Sorry, Sippy. Big Sippy. More of a medium sized Sippy, really. I want to make it last. <laughs> ah! Sorry if I'm weird today. I just. I'm. I'm I, I, I just. I feel like the vibes are off. I'm, I have yet to recover from the vibes being off. Beavers are creatures of vibes. That's how they sort of, like, navigate life. to see you. As much as like this game, as much as Castlevania has a better soundtrack than Civilization, I should probably turn it off for now. Nope. All right, I'm over here now. I'm in the proper place, the proper time. Listen, you'll understand. You'll see. I forgot to do something. Of course I forgot to do something. Why am I like this? Okay, cool. Okay. 
Okay, hello, hello, hello! Let me turn the audio back on. On. Um, let me just turn, turn it up to you. Alright, so, um, today, 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 um, it's gonna be a little bit unorthodox, but I think it'll still be fun. Because it is still seasonal. This is gonna be a very Halloween game of Civ. You can take my word on that one. Alright, so let's, um, let's, let's set this, let's set this, the settings. And there's a couple of important ones here. So we're gonna turn on Heroes and Legends because I'm pretty I'm convinced that these guys are just like dressed up in costumes. We're gonna turn on Monopolies and Corporations mode, because what could be scary than corporations? We're gonna turn on Secret Societies mode and to top it all off, zombie defense mode. Believe it or not, this is in fact, this is in fact, an official game mode that was like in one of the um, Civilization New Frontiers packs or whatever. Now we just need to choose our leader. Who's like the spookiest? Uh, no, she's a cinnamon roll. He is a maple leaf, but that's not spooky. That's just on brand. Um... He has a very impressive hat. Um, he has a powerful stick. I don't know, none of these guys are like really- the- the- the Civ- the Civ 6 art style is like way too friendly. <laughs> none of these guys are scary. I mean, I- I guess this guy's like DreamWorks eyebrow and mustache are kind of intimidating, but it's not quite the same thing. Actually, I think I think Vietnam might be the play. I think Vietnam might be the play. If I'm remembering zombies mode right. All right, cool. I haven't actually played as Vietnam, so let's just let's just try, 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 try. All right, Prince, Epic Continent Standard. Gives myself a teeny tiny bit of an advantage here by making it wet because um the Viet the Vietnamese Empire um they get plus five combat strength for units fighting in rainforest, marsh, or woods, and they can only place their dist their districts on those tiles, so it might be might be worth it to like give myself a little don't tell anyone I'm cheating don't tell anyone okay this should be fine uh -huh, uh -huh. Hopefully I can resist the urge to just constantly restart. Hopefully I can I can resist the urge to just try and get the perfect starting point. That's not the point. That's not the point of this stream. The, this stream is about being spooky. It's about surviving in the face of a terrible plague of zombies and vampires. From the first stirrings of life beneath water, the great beasts of the Stone Age. To man taking his first upright steps, you have come far. 
Now begins your greatest quest. From this early cradle of civilization on towards the stars. Back to you. Your people will remember you as a goddess. Stand against those who would try to rein in your storm and raise your sword in defiance. Neither family nor foe will hold you back. So it, it seems it seems like what Sean Bean is saying is that Bathfield is quite quite the girl boss. And I have quite the sneeze. Okay, the good news is the good news is I managed to mute my microphone in time. The bad news is my entire body is pain. Cause that was a hell of a sneeze. Steam hisses from the ground here, rising in swirling clouds. This is a geothermal fissure. All right, so this is actually pretty sick. <laughs> this is actually kind of dope. Hold on, let me turn on the the actual view here. Alright, so I think what we're going to do is, I know it delays the city by a turn, and that kind of sucks, but one turn out of 750 is not that big of a deal. Chuckle! Chuckle, chuckle! So, the reason why I'm doing this... Wait, no. I thought this was a... Uh, did they change the settler? Never mind, it's fine. It's fine! I'm not gonna I'm not gonna look a gift horse in the mouth. So the reason that this starting plate the starting point is really good is that look at all these like double yield tiles. Two twos, we got two corns, got two cogs. And we also have the, the geothermal fissures for a little extra science. This is pretty goaded. This is pretty based. All right, so we have found a thing along the capital city. Um, I think we should probably go for um, pottery first so we can start working towards um, plantations and irrigation. Now, um, this is Zombles mode, so we are going to need, like, an army, you know? We're, we're going to need, we're going to need units to not die. So let's start with a scout, even though I like to be, usually, I personally like to be greedy as fuck and start with a builder. There's nothing we can really improve around here. Not yet, anyway. So let's start with a scout, get the lay of the land. Um, and as much as that one science is good... As much as that one science speeds things up, um, I think I want the extra food. Sonic Mario CD, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Oh, I want extra fod, because that will help the city grow faster. Pops are power. You, the, okay, technically this isn't still ours, but it's still true. <laughs> still true. Oh, I missed the tea! <laughs> Curses! That's fine. That just means I have, like, a good settlement opportunity down here. Goodness gracious me. <laughs> It's kind of a shame that I haven't, like, found any, like, um, rice plots or anything, or, like, wheat. 
Because if I could get the Eureka to, um, oh, there's some wheat. If I could get the Eureka to irrigation, that would be good. Because, damn, <laughs> look at all these. This river has floodplains. Uh huh. Uh huh. Right, we, we've got, we actually have like some really good expansions. We have some good expansions going. Once we get there, of course. Like I, I can't just. You can't build a settler until you have two population. It is impossible. It simply can't be done. Oh, hello, Vilnius. Oh, cool. We were the first to meet Vilnius, so now we get, like, free culture. Um... Scout into Monument is probably good for like a normal game, but again, we have we have zombies to deal with eventually, so we need we need military. Just here to vibe, huh? Well, that's good. Only good vibes today. That's my, that's my guarantee to you. Only good vibes. No bad vibes. Things don't go perfectly. That's fine. Only good vibes. Ooh, mercury. <laughs> Delicious. Money. Um. I should. I should probably just start beating the hell out of this scout. <laughs> I should probably just beat him up. All right. So, what tiles are we working now? So we have a choice here. Like. Chocolate is naturally a very lucrative tile in terms of gold, but I think right now I actually want the science more. The science and production, I think, will probably be better overall. Because I just got, like, a gold infusion from visiting my the tribal buddies down here. It's a good idea. It's a good idea. My constant nose stuffy recently is making my throat hurt a little. What's oh, Bandrabune? They want Eureka for the wheel. I see. That's doable. Uh, they want Eureka for masonry. That's less doable. I haven't. I don't think I've. Oh wait, no. Do do Jade need? Jade needs mining. I don't remember if it's like quarryable or not. Off the top of my head. Hmm. Actually, you know, that really slows down growth if I do that. I think working the working another um, two food tile is actually probably better now that I think about it. Now that I'm not being now that I'm now that the temporary madness has passed. Oh my gosh. Oh, we found them. We found the Zombles. And somebody. I think that's like a, a faith city-state. Look at him. Bleh. No 
man ever wetted clay and then left it, as if there would be bricks by chance and fortune. So we got pottery. Gonna want mining next, I think. Or no, that doesn't make any sense. We're, I think we just, it, it's a little bit, it, it kind of sucks because like, um, Hi, Fader. Um, it, it kind of sucks because, like, there's there's not really, like, any good way. There's not, like, any good way to, um, boost this right now. It's Nazca. So we've met three city-states already. What do they want? The Eureka for sailing. Oh, good lord. <laughs> There's so many of them. Retreat. Best. Do you ever feel? Do you ever feel like that? Do you ever feel that sensation of absolute impending doom? I'm feeling it right now. Okay. So we do have a little bit of extra culture from Vilnius because we have an envoy there. So I don't think we need a monument right away. But I do think we need another warrior. I, I do in fact think we might need another warrior because this guy doesn't seem long for the world. Volcano is quiet now, but it could have. Hey, free envoy. I'm gonna put that in Nazca because early faith is quite useful. Ooh, he needs cool. This will help us get our pantheon early. Er. I doubt. I, I don't think this is a game where we're gonna get like religious settlements. I don't think we've. We've gotten enough faith income for that, but maybe, maybe, we'll see. Who knows? So I think Bander Bune might be fucked. Cause like they're already taking zombie damage. Oh free builder, that's poggers. Um later. <laughs> Later, it's poggers later. We can't actually improve anything right now. Poidle. Who are you? Harald Sigurdarsson, standur fyrir þér. Aldrei var víking slík lands nýja lagar. <laughs> Ertu hrætt? So hard to meet you, Mr. Viking Man. I am I am afraid, but not of you. <laughs> oh no, Vantabuni! I'm just gonna fortify this guy while it's mostly safe. This is an absolutely accurate summary 
of how things worked in the olden days. We now have the opportunity to... Oh, we found the Owls of Minerva. Alas, that is not the one we want. For both survival and for theming. No, Badger Booty! No! They're dead! The zombies got them! Oh, well, that's okay. So here's the fucked up thing. Zombies and barbarians, were, they're in cahoots. They're in cahoots together. Oh my god. Oh no. <sighs> the zombies and the barbarians are in cahoots together. They will, they will work together for the common good of assholes. retreat I think so um, zombies like changes the game plan quite a bit like rapid and feckless expanding is not gonna work It's not gonna work. We kinda need all hands on deck here just to defend our one holding. And if we can do that, we're honestly in good shape. If we can just keep the zombies from, from being terrifying and hold on to the capital, we'll be okay. Alright, so since we have a warrior garrisoned in the city. It'll, it'll make it a little bit stronger. I'm actually going... I think we need archers, actually. I think if we're going to survive this, if we were going to survive the zombie plague, we need archers. Let's start building a granary because I think this is sufficient. This feels like a sufficient defensive force. All right, we've managed to make this guy quite a bit tougher. He survived long enough to promote and heal. Just another one. Capital is under attack.
I'm just gonna have have the warrior shelter in place against the zombies. I don't think anybody will actually die this turn. Because of the way they're sort of spread out here. There's a method to my getting murdered. <laughs> There's a method to my getting murdered here. I have sent you traitors with gifts of rune stones. They are powerful. The stones, not the traitors. <laughs> Maybe they're powerful traitors, too. So the zombies are just kind of throwing my throwing themselves against Fang Long to little avail, to little avail because I do have I do have a warrior garrison there. And I'm I'm peppering them with with rocks. I'm, I'm peppering them with rocks. It's like a little dicey, but it's fine. It's a little dicey, but it's fine. We have just about... Okay, so we've got the Eureka for bronze working. We should probably get rid of this guy. Like, I could have technically gotten the Eureka for archery there by killing a unit with the, the slinger, but like, I think I think I will still get that anyway because we got another we got another zombie coming. This is the hidden history of the world, my friend. I think I, I think I'm gonna fuck that scout over. I, I think that scout might be dead, depending on what the zombie does. We'll see. We'll see. So like I I basically have not had a chance to like think about macro. <laughs> of course, the barbarians. The barbarians are here. Don't worry about it. This is this is quite different from your average civilization game. <laughs> no, the scout is going to run the hell away. I think necessity might be like demanding that we build tall here. This is basically a boat murdered uh, elephant situation. The goblins and the elephants, the barbarians and the zombies. All right, we can choose the pantheon now. Let, let, let's see. What's available here? Um, Fire Goddess might not be bad. We have two Geothermal Fishers right here. 
Um, but we also have a bunch of plants. I think I actually got us a... Mm, I don't have any camps. I think somebody already took the... Took the, um... Sacred Path. The one that gives you adjacency bonuses for, um... Holy Sites by a... By a rainforest! A jungle! Um, but honestly, God of the Forge... <laughs> God of the Forge... Might be the play too. It's hard to say. And there is. Well, no, that's by Vilnius, huh? All right, I think I'm just gonna do the safe play. It's it's not the most interesting play, but being able to build units faster might um you know save my behind. Because we are sort of besieged on all fronts here. I think it's better just to kill that guy. The city will not, like, take damage this turn. Alright, so we are on a hill. <laughs> Maybe it's best to just fortify in place here. Because, like, these two are wounded. They might just die. That's kind of fucked up. The like, is that, like, the, the guys that only have, like, stones on sticks have to fight the zombie apocalypse. Every nation lives by exchanging. Like, that's hard if you have guns. That's hard if you have guns. We just have dumb sticks. All the damage that the city took has like fucked up the growth rate because we, we lost the population and that's kind of bad <laughs> that's a little less than optimal but it's like what can you do what can you do there's there's zombies I think that we could do soon hopefully once this guy heals up a little we need to kill this barbarian camp or maybe I think there's a barbarian camp here too because of course there is of course there is maybe I 
sh no, it's, I, I think I made the right safe decision. I made the correct safe decision. To produce units faster and better. And I stand by it. I stand by this decision. Because like, like many bots said, it is very important. It's very important to keep macro in mind at all times. It's just like sometimes, sometimes that's not viable. <laughs> sometimes things are scary. There it is. I knew it. We need to get rid of it because, like, barbarians are arguably worse than zombies. Sometimes they have bows and horses. Fucked up. fond of pigs. Same. I am also fond of pigs. Right, we need to start researching, like, archery. Oh, but then again... No, no, this is not the standard game. This is the game where you survive by the skin of your teeth against the zombie hordes. And a few barbarians just for good measure. I don't want to move too far away from the capital because the, the dread hordes can strike at any time. Of course, they have a boat. Alright, so finally our granary is done. Like a settler. You might think a settler is a good idea, but I just don't... I think we need to build up the capital, because the capital we can at least defend. We can at least defend the capital city. That said, if we get a little lucky here... Oh, thank God! A point, a point, a point. All right, we are now part of the Sanguine Pack Secret Society, and for that we now have a vampire. We now have a vampire. Look at her. Look at her majesty. This is very historically accurate. I don't actually know what that got us. <laughs> Money, maybe? Um, the vampire is a powerful immortal unit, actually. The vampire cannot permanently die. It will just, like, get sent back to the capital or the nearest city. So she is, like, the perfect counter to zombie. This does increase our, like, expansion options, because... Gosh.
it's another unit, and more importantly, it's a unit that can't really die. So, like, the dangers of overextension are much lower. That said, um, we kind of got a little fucked up, so... We kind of got a little fucked up, so it's it's gonna be a minute before we can get a settler out. It's gonna be a it's gonna be a hot second. Good morning, good morning, mimic chest. Um, how do you feel about the zombie hordes? Just out of curiosity. So we have a very powerful military. <laughs> By necessity. How do you feel about the undead zombie hordes? We have a very powerful military right now. And I think that might be the key to victory. <laughs> I don't usually like playing super warmonger, but this is, in this world, it's kill or be killed. Can we really, can we really afford? Can we really afford to just, to just build a settler when the undead roam the land unchecked? I don't think so. The settler will be devoured. Its delicious internal juices will be consumed. Or, you know, the barbarians are a consistent an unending problem. So as much as like I don't I don't take any joy in it, I, I think I gotta I think I gotta go fuck up Harold. <laughs> I think I gotta go fuck him up. I need his city. But I, I do need to clear the barbarian threats first, or else I'll just I'll get stabbed in the back. Hello? What can I oh, I see another target. Now that we're vampires, our, our relationship to the other civilizations of the game, it's changed a little. They, they might be more prey than anything, because, you know, vampire. I'm a vampire! Kill me! Oh my. Oh, this is bad. Alright, I'll just have the vampire... She'll just sit in the woods. <laughs> Vampires are most powerful in the misty woods. God, talk about a horse. like that. I, I don't usually like to play this game Ultra Warmonger. Why is there a zombie there? I 
mean, I guess it is zombie mode. Zombies are everywhere. Alright, just fortify. Fortify up. Chop. 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 God damn. Vampire strong. So since we are Vietnam, we do get a combat bonus for being on the woods. In addition to just like, you know, it's the... It's just ideal terrain. It's hard to attack through woods and that scout is just flecked over my, my slinger. Oh, I'm so sad. Fortify, I guess. I think it's dead no matter what, which is a shame, but that's fine. I, I actually have a lot of money, so I'm just gonna build another warrior. Just, just keep fortifying in the woods. Let the zombies come to you. They're dumb. They only know aggro. Alright, so provided the scout isn't like a total asshole, I this this guy might survive to take that camp. We'll see. Alright, with that that camp dealt with I should probably I should probably retreat. Retreat to safer environs. Oh, hello, Taruga. I'm the first to meet Taruga? What the fuck? Alright, that camp is dead. They want an inspiration for craftsmanship. God, that's not happening for a while, I'm afraid. But I guess we could... All right, we are, we are on the march. We're marching towards Meteoros. So the vampire has a couple of special mechanics. When it kills a unit that's not a barbarian, it gains a little bit of combat strength. I guess this also is like, you, you can't just have it farm zombies. You can't just have it farm bard camps. Which, you know, it's a shame. It's a shame. I kind of wish it worked that way, but it just doesn't. It doesn't. Okay, cool. Vatican City. <laughs> Vatican City has exterminated the, the zombie. Become confused while your arrow is on its way. Cool, 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 cool.
All right, I now have an archer. <laughs> this is a huge upgrade. I just gotta try and get my slinger back home so I can get two archers. All right, so we've got a couple of we've got a couple options here. And I normally don't especially like combat heroes. But in this case, I think we might need I think we might need the might of King Arthur. Didn't actually mean to click that. Don't worry about it. I have good micro in the turn based game. veteran I know all about it so to sort of like balance out how powerful vampires are to sort of like balance that out um they don't gain like the usual amount of experience They don't gain the usual amount of experience from combat. They don't level up. They don't get promotions. But they are... They just have... Like, they gain the combat strength of, like, your, your strongest motherfucker, you know? My unit has been healed. He's expanded. That fool... There's no way he can hold that. He might be able to hold that, actually. <laughs> you know, I might actually be able to take that camp with my scout get some more gold like gold is one of the things i'm actually like doing really well on I'm, I'm quite rich thanks to this little plantation well this plantation to be a legend walks among us here he is it's king arthur I can turn other land military units into questing knights. But I also just have like 36 melee strength with this guy. <laughs> Heroes don't count, sadly. For the vampire bonus. Otherwise, that'd be broken. Because you can get like dudes with, with 36 combat strength in... 2,625 BC. It's ridiculous. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to build another scout. And then I'm going to turn that scout into a questing knight. Über Vorsichtigkeit sie gelobet, zu helfen diesem Riech. This guy Diese hates city-states. That's his gimmick. Freddy B hates the city-states. He hates them. I don't really get it myself. I don't really understand personally. Look at his glowing sword. Look at the power of Excalibur. It's gonna smite some fucking zombies. Uh, this is still civilization, by the way. Just in case you were confused.
<laughs> oh, we got two archers now at least. Alright, and sooner or later we'll finally be able to build some tile improvements. Good lord. Alright, once we actually start like working working these volcanic tiles. Hold on, let me see. Okay, we are. We're we're working one. That's fine. Alright, we as much as I would like to like fully devote myself to crushing Harold Haradra, we need to be prudent about this. We can't just leave the home the homeland undefended. Thank you for your delegation and your money. We can't just leave the homeland undefended. That would be feckless. That would be irresponsible. But I will Nagus risk casting a settler. Ha ha! Die. A glorious victory for King Arthur of, of, of Vietnam. Don't worry about it, it's fine. Thousands have lived without love. Okay, that's pretty pog. Let's do mining next. Now we're getting rich. Now we're getting paid. And we also have some amenities, which will help. So, sorry. I'm, I'm doing okay. Like, I'm not super... I'm not super pleased by how this game is going, because it's kind of it's kind of sketchy. It's kind of sketchy. It's a little sketch. But we're doing our best here. King Arthur, an archer and a vampire, attack Norway. Mysticism is the mistake of an accidental and individual symbol for a universal one. We don't actually need God King anymore, so let me just slot that in. go ahead and just buy the I might go ahead and um, buy the stone <laughs> I will buy a bunch of rocks for the good of my empire because quarrying will let us get walls and walls are poggers <laughs> zombies don't like walls they're like fuck what do I do with these they, they're not squishy Can't eat, don't want, no. All right, we're we're just gonna hang tight and chill for just a sec here. Okay, now we got coffee. Now, now we won't fall asleep when the zombies come in the middle of the night. Now we won't fall asleep when the zombies come in the middle of the night because we're sleepy. <laughs> oh, 
I wonder if Arthur can turn a vampire into a questing vampire. Seems seems bad. It seems like he shouldn't do that actually. Alright, Nidoros is like, well, this looks bad. Okay, so we are quite well defended at home. We've got an archer and a warrior. Once we take Diderot, that will also be well defended. And then we can kind of go from there, you know? Become knight! He will die in 13 turns. But it's fine. In those 13 turns, he will die and live gloriously. He will burn brightly. Nice boat, idiot. You were right to worry. <laughs> <laughs> Harold's, Harold's like the funniest leader, I think. When you declare war on him, he's like, Hell yes, dude! The skulls will sing of this fight! Now, this is going to be a little bit of a toughie to crack. This is going to be a little bit of a toughie to crack because there's not a lot of avenues of attack. But I'm sure we'll manage something. <laughs> because his boat can't attack land units. There's more zombies. <laughs> I sense zombie. They are throwing rocks at King Arthur. This is undignified. This can't stand. They are throwing rocks at King Arthur. Alright, looks like Vatican City has that zombie zombie thing under control. Where'd this pop up? How convenient. Damn, Norway got sheep. <laughs> Norway got some sheep. Now, just because this guy will die in 13 turns doesn't necessarily mean I want him to die immediately. That's still, that's still a while, you know? <laughs> that's still a lifespan. I can't just throw his life away. Who deserves more credit? Okay, now what? Bronze working. Skill without imagination is craftsmanship and gives us many useful objects, such as wickerwork picnic baskets. I kind of want to 
how the vampire eat the slinger, so I'm gonna go for it. Just gonna have King Arthur chill. Just have the, the archer keep bombarding. I'm farming experience from the city. It's an advanced tactic. Oh no. Well, I think it still works that they're adjacent. So Excalibur can get the final blow, I guess. Honestly, I don't really know how vampires work that well. TBH, don't at me. God, this boat is actually a pain in my ass. And Skedsmo is fucking terrible. What the hell are you doing? Please respond. Harold had like a farm or something I could pillage. The, one of the other downsides to vampires is that they, you know, they don't, they don't heal very quickly naturally. Not well, I understand. have 25 combat power there's no there's one person there and they're not even they're not even strong So on the bright side here, we do, we finally have our first settler out. God. Pump out another archer, I guess. So the question is, where do I want to stick this fucker? either go south or we could go north. I think it makes more sense to go north right now because we have more control over that zone. Hercules? Her 
Hercules is like the best hero, except maybe Maui. And I only say Maui because I'm. <laughs> I, I have a problem in my brain. God, this, this city is impossible. Why is this so, I, I, I mean, the boat, the boat. I'm not sure I'm gonna be able to win this war. I mean, like, I've, I've completely murdered all of his units, granted, but. Uh, I'll trade with, I'll trade with Aachen. I don't think, like, trade is very powerful in zombies mode, because the zombies will just be like, they don't have any appreciation for commerce. They just know brains. <laughs> he has another boat. So I'm I'm making use of a powerful strategy. To teleport my vampire back home. cringe would it be if I, I think I don't know I don't know it would be pretty cringe if I restarted but sometimes I am cringe no I'll, I'll play it out I'll play it out a as much as like it pains me much as my as much as it hurts my my heart i will play this out no my scout Ugh. i think like right there is probably where i want it i, I feel like i can't like get away I can't get away with like any fancy adjacency bonuses shit in this game. My only goal is survival. This guy's dying in four turns anyway. I should probably just give up. This is a lost cause. The fact that he fucking... Got that Viking longboat, like, exactly as I turned up. That was sad. That was a sadness. Some... Fuck it. Fuck it. Have your stupid neuteros. I don't want it anymore. have been made, but at least we'll have another city now. Um, King Arthur's got 14 turns in him. The undead hordes approach.
I'm just gonna try and like escort my caravan as best I can. Maybe Harold will just let bygones be bygones. I, buy, I can buy a builder. We're gonna want a greenery. Alright, well, I think that actually Jeremy... Oh my gosh, he lost his city! The Zombles got him! Is this opportunity for Maple? I can't even do- I just like- the city was too tough. I don't have the tech. His boat's too strong for me. Not even King Arthur could deal with a boat. Oh my. I don't underrate the val- Early Empire. Huh. I mean, I guess we could pump out more more military units. That's absolutely an option. Uh, maybe another scout to turn into a questy. A warrior, what quests? Crab fat, free money, free money, free era score. I've killed so many barbarian camps. Like, I'm not only am I rich, I also have a ton of era score, so I have like a guaranteed. I have like a guaranteed golden age. You know, that's not my problem, that's Harold's problem. Fuck that shit. I love it when the scouts just like enrage when their camp gets blasted. They just immediately just start attacking anything in sight. Like they're like the fucking like hive mind insect without a hive anymore. Go ahead and snag that. Build a farm on it. No, don't eat my traitor! Don't eat my traitor! Hmm. 
I want more population here. So like building another settler is not necessarily in my best interest, but then again, like we're we're really we're really hurting. <laughs> For like, you know, like long-term prospects. Cool. I think I will just have them work that tile to get more peoples. Okay, so like even though that war was a total boondoggle, even though that war was a terrible idea. Bronze is the mirror of the form, wine of the mind. We managed to get some money out of it at least. I didn't really lose that much. I need I need like a campus. Post haste. All right, so with the vampire, with like the last gasp of King Arthur, we should have enough stuff to take out Aachen. We should be able to knock out old Freddy B from the game and get his stuff, get his delicious pops. that pop up oh up there again that that's that's Harold's problem that's not my problem that's Harold's problem Make sure we have somebody at home. Oh my gosh! Oh, Freddy B! You're getting so fucked up! I feel bad about this, but this is just like the ultimate war of opportunity. Nazca just got bodied. I sort of have to put my archer in danger here to like deal with this, which sucks, but it's fine. It's fine. We're in we're in safe territory, more or less. Wollt ihr an mir gesiegen, der ich so viel der Fiende verdurbe? Vampire on her stubby little legs. She's having trouble keeping up with the horsies. If only I could put a horse on a vampire.
I could pillage this. But it's just, horses only give faith, which is kind of like whatever. It's kind of like whatever. I'm not going for much of a faith-oriented build this time. Alright, let's go ahead and send this to... Uh, actually, no, we should rebase it first. I want Hui to go to Fang Wong. Alright, that's, that's my problem. I, I need to deal with that. That's, this is my problem. No longer somebody else's problem, now my problem. It was luxuries like air conditioning that brought down the Roman Empire. With air conditioning... Alright, so let's go ahead and slot um, colonization in here. deal with this random zombie that just popped up for some reason. I mean, I guess that's just how zombies work. Taken Aachen. All right, so now we actually have an opportunity to build a Thon, which is a unique district to Vietnam. It replaces the encampment, and it gets plus two culture for each adjacent district. But the really cool thing is that it doesn't count as a district. It does not require population, it's cheaper to build. Um, okay, so I'm doing some thinking here. So if we plonk down, if we do some plonking here, we plonk down a fawn here, maybe put an industrial zone there, aqueduct here. That's like a pretty good little power power couple. Power couple. Oh wait, the thon, it can't be oh damn it. Um I think we can still make this work. Do it like right here. Um, and we do have governor. We kind of need science. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and appoint Pingala. I don't have any cities on the coast, Errol. You dumbass. Damn, yeah, the zombie going beast mode. Our people know this new reason. Look, I've got the blood magic.
Alkin might be rebelling, but that's fine. Mighty Excalibur. Um, Arthur dies next turn no matter what I do. <laughs> so I should I should hurry up and I should hurry up and be about this. Um Right. This guy's got two charges, so I can build the quarry. Then I can repair everything and then have a charge left over. Um, I should be able to take Cologne next turn. So I don't think like the loyalty problem will be a, will be an issue. Get off of my quarry! I need that! Writing is easy. Writing is easy. Um. King Arthur. Couldn't quite take the city. That's fine. I'm gonna send this archer down to deal with the barbarian problem. This mode is basically just putting out fires constantly. Well, Arthur dead. Long live King Arthur. So I can take Cologne, but like I'm sort of worried that like Cologne might immediately die to zombie attack. <laughs> Fucked up Germany. I, I should have I maybe it would have been better to wait. Maybe it would have been better to wait to get error score. That's probably okay. Keep city. Alright, it's got like 26 strengths, so it should be fine. Because, like, my questy, my questy knight is still there. And the warrior is just like, well, fuck this, I guess. Oh, dear. <laughs> oh, dear.
All right, so like, we've suffered some setbacks. We've suffered some setbacks. Zombies will always be a problem. But I think we're in like a much better position overall. So, what do I want to have this gold mage be? Uh, monumentality, I think. Monumentality is always good. <laughs> that knight's dead anyway in a couple turns. Alright, so... Um, so one of the things about Vietnam is that it can't put any specialty districts on stuff that doesn't have a marsh, a woods, or rainforest. Except the fawn. So that does, that does sort of force you to get a little bit creative. It forces you to get a teensy tiny bit creative. You can't get, like, some of the really sick, like, adjacency bonus, um, like, giga quad plexes. But you get some, you get some bonuses to make up for it. Alright, so Pingal, Pingal, Pingala has been assigned here. We're getting a little, <coughs> excuse me, a little bit of extra science and culture. Something that's been in kind of short supply in this game, because of the zombies. It's hard to just sort of chill when there's zombies. Alright, so the knight's down, but that's fine. Long live the knight, he was dead anyway. So the next big question is, where do I want to plonk this down? Where, where, where's my plonking? Oh, looks like, looks like Vilnius will get the barbarian camp. That's fine. I should probably be thinking more about adjacency bonuses, but this is just kind of a funny, silly, haha. What if there were zombies in in 1725 BC? What if there were zombies? Wouldn't that be fucked up? It's a little fucked up. It's slightly fucked up. Defend the plantation! So I'm just gonna have the vampire chill in the city until it's like full strength again. We got some, we got some sugar. We got some sugar, sugar. So there's a couple of things we can do here. But 
there is like I have not I think I've yet to find any iron like there's iron over here in like this city desert area so the jade down there represents a new luxury and it also represents like um like a, a port city which is important but at the same time I'm a little scared because like how am I going to defend that if I have too many cities they become very difficult to defend from zombies I think the safer option overall is probably to like settle settle around here. And like maybe get like a, a coffee monopoly going. The coffee monopoly. Only we have enough caffeine to stay awake even when the zombies attack at night. Um, it would also help us because, yeah, I think, I think this is, in fact, the play. Um, and if we settle in place here, that does save us, like, a worker charge. And we can maybe get some more, like, adjacency stuff going with the capital. Okay, this sounds good. This looks good. That means we get that copy of tea. We also get a little bit of extra science just from the city tile. Skedsmo. Oh, Skedsmo and Nidoros have the iron. Maybe I can, like, make some horse lords, because I do have a bunch of horses. C cur courtesy of Aachen, I have some horses for horse lords. Um, how much faith does it take? Okay, cool. I can just get a builder down here. Get those horses. Horse, horse, horse. Sometimes the wheel to All right, so the next big thing we need is masonry. masonry means walls and walls means the zombies aren't quite so scary who lives down I, I still yet to meet whoever lives down here that is the state of the world no fuck off my horses! I'm not giving you the instrument of my own destruction! It's ridiculous. Ridiculous! It is equally important to have a happy and engaged workforce as it is to have a profitable bottom line. Um, oh, political philosophy, definitely. Uh, I think that, like, right now we can't afford to pump out more cities. We need to build a little tall, or else the zombies will eat the wide. N normal things to say. So, what do we want? Could maybe consider building some wonders. I think urban planning for now because I, I just don't really have anything specific in mind. Let's make Pingala a researcher. 
That's like just another plus three science, which is great. It, it doesn't sound like a lot, but right now when we're only producing 13, It's a significant bump up. So how do I want to use this guy? Not like that. <laughs> Fuck. I wonder if a zombie can capture units. Can the zombie, like, go over to my civilian unit and capture him? <laughs> Does that work, I wonder? still have my eyes on Nidoros because of that iron. And also the access to the desert means I might be able to like build the pyramids there. If I'm... Well, actually, no. There's already... I should probably build the pyramids in like Cologne or something if I can. Because there is like... <laughs> Rah! He's mad. I have caused- I have caused- that's true! I have caused him grievances. Like, that's undeniable. I have caused Harold some grievances. Each of us is carving a stone, erecting a column, or cutting a piece of stained glass in the construction of something much bigger than ourselves. Alright, so... Wall's good, wall's big, wall's huge. Now we just kind of have to play catch up a little. Like, in I think in regards to the people, um, to the players still in the game. In regards to the players still in the game, I think we're doing fine. I think we're actually pretty far ahead because, like, everybody has to deal with the zombies. Everybody has to deal with zombies. And that puts everybody behind. The thong was no accident, but the result of the unique genius of our people. So this won't get us any like great general points or anything, but it, it, it is just, it's a free encampment basically. Well, I'm not sure free is the right word, but it's an encampment that doesn't take up a district slot, which to me is free. Because that's like why I tend not to build encampments in most of my games. They take up a, 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 they take up a district slot that could be used for something much more productive. So currently, I think I think like the big priority is everybody needs walls. <laughs> walls are non-negotiable. 
And I also need to get up and use the bathroom real quick. So I'll be right back. I'll be right back. I'll be right back. Hello, I'm back. Huh, okay. Um, so we can start like construction on walls and stuff, which is, which is a big deal. It's a big deal. It's a big deal. In this mode anyway. Um, and of course, if anybody has like any questions, like about what the fuck is going on, I'd be happy to field them. <laughs> I'd be happy to answer why zombies are attacking. Oh no. Oh, that's that really sucks. I mean, it's okay because like we do get some, we do get some like fertilized volcanic tiles, but like kill the pop. Dang long just can't catch a break. Alright, complete the monument now that the thorn is done, and then we'll build walls there. Just, everybody just needs to take up like defensive positions. Defensive positions. Now, I don't think there are any camps down here. So again, just defensive positions. Keep an eye out for the zombies. Have some gold. I think I will actually send my builder to improve some tiles over here to get the city's production a little bit. Just a little bit less bad. <laughs> There's a funny strat I'm intending to do later involving planting woods and chopping them down. That's another reason why I chose Vietnam. They get to plant woods like very, um, very early on compared to other sieves. I think I will buy this, and I will then improve it. That makes that a pretty powerful tile. Uh, 
<laughs> the zombies are coming. We're gonna move this guy up to Aachen to give Aachen a little bit more combat strength. Zombies can just come from literally anywhere at any time. They're terrifying. Horrid beasts of death. I don't believe in astrology. I'm a Sagittarius, and we're skeptical. Har har. Okay. Um. Horseback will help. Horses are, like, good at putting out fires. Well, I mean, like, not actual fires. Horses aren't very good firefighters, but they are, um... They are good at, like, ad addressing many different problems on the map. Like zombies, for instance. Um, I am spending a lot of money on just like getting tiles, but like, I mean, I feel like if I have the money, I should spend it. I don't gain anything from just like letting it sit in my pocket. Trust funds are not optimal. Expression of political philosophy will define humanity's future in the classical Divine era. Rules. Okay, so, um, <laughs> oligarchy is actually looking kind of attractive because of the plus four combat strength, but I think we need to, I think we need to go with a nice, nice balanced autocracy. Normally I like to go for classical republic because it's like a really good macro option. But we need, I think we need this, this, um, this policy slot. I have no idea if we're even going to be able to get a religion. <laughs> but I might as well slot in Revelation. Like, uh, surely having a religion must make you effective against zombies. They're weak to holy damage. Come on. Then again, I do have a vampire. I do have a vampire with me. <laughs> maybe that's not, maybe that's not the play. So once the walls are done, I will feel comfortable, like, um, getting some like specialty districts, maybe building some wonders. Somebody's been fucked up. There's a city state right over there that just got plastered. Great. Like we're also later on when I have like when I'm more stabilized when I have more of a presence, I definitely do want to make sure that my allied city-states are like, they're not dead. <laughs> I need to make sure they're not fucked up by zombies. is like in a nice like defensive position with like a lot of mountains and stuff so I think they'll do fine <laughs> there, it's a, there is in fact a zombie game mode look look oh well 
You'll see them soon enough, I'm sure. Not only are there zombies, there's vampires, too. <laughs> Look at my beautiful vampire. This is, this is a legit-ass game, though, that was, like, part of a DLC. This is no mod. <laughs> this is no mod, boy. No mod. No hour of life is wasted that is spent in the saddle. I mean, um, the, the stuff we can get from, like, uh, corporations and monopolies and industries, quite strong. But I wish we had, like, another... I wish we had, like, another, um... Another chocolate somewhere. If we had another chocolate, this would, would make this a lot easier. Because who doesn't love chocolate, am I right? It's delicious. Oops, sorry. So our walls are almost done. And as much as I do, I do want Nidoros for that iron, it, it, it just has to wait. I can't overextend myself. Or the ravening hordes of undead will make me pay. Like, I already feel pretty overextended right now. Like, I, I think I need to send, I need to, like, get a unit protecting Kong Tree. Because, like, at any moment, zombies could erupt from the ground. At any moment, zombies could simply erupt from the ground and ruin my day. Ah, oh, can needs housing. Alright, cool. We are now protected. We have two just like ranged attacks that aren't going anywhere because we built walls. So I think now is the time to like... Yeah, this is like a Giga Chad campus right here. This is the most poggers campus I've ever... Built. Well, it's not the most, but like it's a pretty poggers campus. This is going to generate a fuck ton of science. Even though I do kind of miss the, the... I will miss the tutu on it. That much science just cannot be denied. Alright, um, I think we actually, we're gonna want a builder up here. And I can use my monumentality to build to get one basically for free. I'm not using my faith for anything else right now. We'll just have the archer chill out in the fawn. Yeah, Norway. If it does not bring you happiness, will at least help you be miserable in comfort. Money. We can now build commercial hubs, but I'm more interested 
Um, I'm a good deal more interested. See, here they are. The ravening hordes. They're on my doorstep. I'm a good deal more interested right now in, um... Defenses and like maybe like getting a religion up. Oh, the pyramids would be really good. Yeah, I think I gotta. That's gonna it's gonna take a hot minute to complete. But like my my hope is the hope that I have is that everybody else is like equally fucked up by zombies. So I will have I will have the time I require. Those are zombies. The poets have been mysteriously silent on the subject of cheese. Alright, um, I think that, like, at this point, discipline is outmoded. I think I'm gonna do maneuver now, because I want some horse boys. I want some horse lords. Let's do, uh, corvée too. Oh, and Seiko. The ranged attack, the walls are complete. I, I really want to go and build a mine there so I can get like an indu a mercury industry. <laughs> but the zombies! The zombies! Another good spot for a campus. And I think like every city just is going to want to have a thon as a matter of practice just because like they're they don't take up a slot they're cheap to build. <laughs> they give you another ranged attack to defend and that's like the important part of this game for me. It is not that life ashore is distasteful to me, but life at sea is better. I'm mostly just getting sailing out of the way. <laughs> mostly just getting sailing out of the way. So ancient walls are completed in Aachen, but we're pretty much, can we afford to put off getting a granary? You know, I think we can. Let's get a water mill instead make this like a production powerhouse. Um, all right, so what are, what are like, what does Taruga do? Um, plus, I mean, that's like a good one. Scales pretty well. What about Vilnius? Hacked of Alliance? I think everybody... Nobody's gonna be, like, alive. <laughs> nobody's gonna be, like, alive. To have an alliance with. The zombies might make it so I win by default just by surviving, which is kind of funny. Because they're getting stronger and stronger. My defenses might not be enough. Alright, 
it looks like I can finally sneak my builder out to build a freaking mine. So I want to, um, all right, if I can send a trade route to Truga, I can be their suzerain, which will give me a pretty big advantage against Harold when I eventually go back to finish what I started. So I really do want the pyramids because like just in general, the pyramids are like the best wonder in the game, one of them. Like, super, absolutely poggers. But, um... I, I think I want to build the industry. <laughs> Closer, so it's easier to defend. Okay, that's like a huge boost to this city. It's a huge boost to this city. Makes the science better, too. Very nice, very nice. Attack! All right, that was a little un unimpressive. A little unimpressive. It's fine. It's fine. We got a, We got another archer here. The walls are more for like just like making the zombie effects really ineffective. Um. Oh, there's another. If only. If I just had one more tile. Um, could do a wood chop. I could chop down some woods. This feels in character. There we go. Not just by chopping down the wood, we get our fun. Perfect. Wonderful. I love it. I kind of want a government plaza at some point, but it's like, I don't know. Where, though? <laughs> Um, need more money. <laughs> I could buy that tile and plop down a holy site there and then maybe like a campus next to it. Well, for now, let's just go with the water mill because the water mill is just like overall useful. Uh oh. <laughs> oh dear. So this mode really does like change how you need to think about things. It's pretty interesting. It's also kind of hard. It, it, it really makes you feel like you're super behind when you're not necessarily. Because you just have to remember, everybody's going through it. I guess that's like applicable to life too. It's just like everybody's going through it. Should be able to just kill him with this warrior. God, iron would be so good, but it's just like <laughs> Harold's fucking dumb, so he hasn't like improved it yet. It's right there, Harold. Why? Well, the, okay, so like the most important thing to know about Civ is that you see these little gears, you see these little brown gears, you want those. You want as many gears as humanly possible. How did that not kill? I guess the river defense. My trade route! Fuck. This is a mascot collectathon, exactly. Exactly. Oh, 
the more gears you have, the more production you have. And the more production you have, the faster things get done. Ergo. I know Aka needs more housing. I'm working on it. I do. One man's magic is another man's engineering. Uh, Machu Picchu might if be a good one the first for this game. Life, recreation is a close second. Um, apprenticeship would also be good. Is there anywhere I could like build a mine? Or do I want... Well, I'm gonna have, like, the water mill complete soon. So I should probably actually just go with construction. This guy's making me nervous. He's just out there! I have not committed any war crimes. I mean, I, I maybe I maybe stole Aachen from its, from its rightful leader. Oh dear, Taruga is under siege. I think somebody just got fucked up again whenever you hear that like really <clears throat> noise. That either means like a wonder got completed you were working on, or somebody died. Okay, so we do, I, like, this, the city is not going to be producing much in terms of production, which, which pains me, but, like, what can you do? What needs walls? I'm going to get some walls. Um, when I get, like, my next promotion, you know, the statue of Zeus, that might be poggers. <laughs> That'll just give me, like, a fuck ton of spearmen and archers for, well, not for free, but, like, you know. I'm producing 5.5 faith. I'm very pious. I mean, I guess like killing a lot of zombies is pious. This is almost done, which is exciting. I'm gonna have my vampire keep a closer eye on the pyramids. You know, as, as a vampire does. Alright, well, Taruga is just fucking dead. Rest in peace, Taruga. We'll have to do without city states this game. <laughs> they just can't deal with the zombies. So we got the really sicko campus up. It's producing five science. 
there's quite a bit of science at this point in the game. And now, like, I, I think I do, I do desire a holy site. But at the same time, like, I can't take out too many of these two two tiles, or else my production food will simply stagnate, and that's not, that's not good. That's not good! No! Great people is where I go. How how many great prophets? All right, so only Simon Peter has been has been grabbed. I don't need to like rush for a religion. It might be better just like stabilize my my production. Get like a, <laughs> stabilize and build a stable. <laughs> uh, excuse me. Uh, get a builder out. I want to I want to make that into an industry. That's where I wanted the- I should use pins more. <laughs> I'm a scattered brain, so even when I have like a, a really good idea for something, it's just like, We did, uh, we did lose our trader to zombie predations. So I guess I should, like, build, build one of those. Those who in quarrels interpose must often wipe a bloody nose. He might be good. He's another, like, fighting man hero. Beowulf can fuck people up. Oh, wait, shit. Who has a monument? I need to get Hercules. Hold the phone, Central. Need Hercules, stat. Oh, hello. Chupula haule maja obo. Kulesako o. Nice to meet you. Oh dear. <laughs> you don't look so good. <laughs> Alright, is everything okay, Lady Six Guy? Like, her capital is about to get fucking blastoed. You know, I'm gonna accept this because I want gold right now. Maybe horses will help her survive. I don't know. actually know if a zombie can like kill a capital because like the thing of it is the thing of it is normally capital 
capitals cannot be raised. You cannot raise a capital to the ground. You always have to take it. You can't just blow it up. <laughs> you better believe these zombies in Sim 6. Look at them. Look at them encroach. They're encroaching. Create with the heart. Build with the mind. Alright, so Lumber Mill is kind of a big deal. And I'm not just saying that because I'm the beaver bitch. It's because we have a lot of woods and stuff we can improve with them. Alright, so we're just, we're not going to get the Eureka for iron working, I don't think. I'm not going to be able to, like, take, oh, Nidoros is under attack on something. There's also a vampire. She's very scary. Where did that pop? Not my problem. Well, a little bit my problem. Potentially my problem at some point in the future. Oh, I can actually get a builder for free. I mean, it's not free. It did cost faith, but you know what I mean. <laughs> you know what I mean. I'm gonna start work on a barracks here so I can maybe build like the statue of Zeus. Oh dear. <gasps> Run away! Retreat! <gasps> Back to the pyramids! more housing so what we're going to do now is we're going to make some lumber mills this will greatly increase our production in this area look at all these woods look at all these woods that can make wonderful and productive thank you for your money god bless absolute fucking carnage right now. They're good, okay? Jeez, there's another zombie. Good eaten. Oh, Nazca, Nazca too. Oh, Jesus, everything is fucked up. It's fucked up and bullshit. I'm fine. It's just Halloween. It's October. It's seasonal. Don't, don't worry about it. I'm going to actually save this guy for now. Because once the pyramids are done, he'll get an extra charge as a freebie. <laughs> I mean, it is pretty painful, but it's it's kind of fun in like a unique way. Like, don't get me wrong, the zombies are fucking me up a little, but it's like it's they're fucking me up in a fun way. It's like this is a new sort of challenge. So let's build a water mill. Oh, you know, I could build a mine over here, I think. This is, should be a hill? Yes. 
can be a, that can actually be a pretty powerful mine. Just basically right now, we're just kind of focusing on getting the bare ass necessities. We are defending the territory. Yeah, I'm gonna, I, mean, I, think, I think I'm just gonna like hard buy a monument for this city so its borders grow a little faster. Harold, I can't even buy the iron from him. I, I don't think it would be worth it to settle a city over here just for the iron. It would be hard to Everything has if this limits. wasn't zombie mode. Iron ore cannot be educated into gold. I could build a Jebel Burkle. This might be a Jebel Burkle game because I need iron to keep up with the zombies. Oh wait, a meteor. Let's just build a nice little industry here, power up that tile. Then we can build a mine there that should get us the apprenticeship Eureka. Zombies are a little broken. Like, they kind of suck, but it's like... It's kind of a neat little challenge to survive against them. Speaking of which, Nazca, are you okay? Alright, they're fine, I think. They, they got another archer. They should be okay. No, never mind. There was another zombie. <laughs> they, they still might survive. No. Goodbye, Nazca. <laughs> Rest in fucking pieces. Yeah, there, there used to be like a bunch of city states here. They're, they're gone now. They're gone. Truly, this is the spookiest game mode. Hercules is done in six turns. How much does a greenery cost? 390. I'll probably get that soon. Um, I could really power up Cologne. If I could just get a builder there, but like everybody's busy. <laughs> everybody's fucking busy. I thought I built three mines. Guess not. Le eco obo meyajo ocupa cat nacha meyaj. Gel pajala sukil. Why? What did I do? Why are you mad at me for? Defense is superior to opulence. You know, the thing is, I think limes are act is actually a good policy right now. <laughs> I think limes might actually be a good policy. Um, I think 
we actually do want Magno, the steward. We can do some bullshit with him. So, like, the, the default power of Magnus is that he will give you more yields. He will give you more yields for, like, chopping something down. So, if when he's established here in Cologne, I can, like, chop down some of these trees and get, like, Mondo production from it. That's right, boys. Mondo production. Where is everyone? I can't peek my head out too far because it's fog of war and it's scary. So again, I'm just going to save this worker for now. So my plan, I think, my plan is I'm going to finish the pyramids. I'm going to finish the pyramids and then I'm going to use that builder to like get like a really good chop chain going, you know? You can like have some like self-replicating builder action if you do it correctly. All right, so we do in fact have that barracks now, which means the statue of Zeus is a possibility and one I embrace. I embrace the statue of Zeus for free units. survive no matter the cost. Hey, we got a we got a free we got a free chariot. That's actually really nice. They they're pretty powerful, them chariots. And they have good, they have like good movement too, so. God, I just, I need, I. Oh, he's building the pyramids too? This can't stand. Alright, so like there's a couple of like power turns coming up for us. Cause like the first one is that like when, when Hercules pops out, we can get some fucking districts, like immediately. And also not die to zombies. That's another good one. Alright, so we probably do want a a Govo plasma. A, go a government, a government plasma. And you can power up a couple things that way. So the walls here are completed, which is wonderful. I'm 
going to start building a commercial hub there so I can send Hercules over to complete it in a flash. And we can switch to Monument. Our current big bottleneck here is iron. Go ahead and just buy this greenery. If we had iron, we could upgrade most of our units to become more effective against the increasingly strong and scary zombies. Alright, so here you be, Herculon. He'll also just be helpful to, like, you know, defend against the unending waves of undead. Also a helpful quality, he's strong. <laughs> Big fan club. Alright, so what do I want now? I do need a holy site, but this isn't a good place for it. But there is a good place for a campus, though. No? Not really. <laughs> we already have a phone, too. So, like, a wonder I could build. Could build Stonehenge for the memes. <laughs> this is, like, the worst fucking worst one ever. Commercial hub, I guess. Oh, you know, if I plug this, here, I could like put a harbor there, and the harbor would actually be pretty okay. Yeah, I think I like that the most. I think I, I like barbarians, uh, not barbarians, I don't like barbarians at all. <laughs> I think I like the, I think I like that play the most. Alright, so like, Skedsmo is Dunzo. Skedsmo is Dunzdo. What the fuck? Why are there so many of them? fine because we have like walls and a vampire and Hercules can come back at more or less a moment's notice but also Jesus Christ fucking zombos out of nowhere repair that farm. <laughs> this is this is quite tense, honestly. Um possibly built one yet. Oh, Jesus. Well, my vampire got sent back home. Hercules! Quickly! You gotta fight the zombies, Hercules! Oh, 
this is probably going to delay the pyramids, which is annoying. Well, I guess I might as well send my envoy to the Vatican City because it still exists. Hercules versus the zombies. Right, the vampire, he, <laughs> vampire, she needs a minute. She needs to rest and recover for a sec. Um. Having crossbowmen would actually be kind of poggers. So since Hercules is garrisoned, why? For what purpose? Since Hercules is garrisoned here, the city is not like in any danger. <laughs> but that's not to say we're having a fun time either. Uh, the iron bottleneck. It's tough. It's tough. The iron bottleneck is tough. I, I, I need better than sticks to fight zombies. through some terrible things in my life, some of which actually happened. Oh, that's right! That's right, we the well, Elephants versus zombies! Hercules riding on the elephant against zombies is fucking poggers. Um... Let's go ahead and promote Pingala. Make him a connoisseur. Zombies are so strong. <sighs> but little by little, we thin the horde. <laughs> okay, I guess Hercules' stick is pretty good. Let's switch back to the pyramids here. The plan will not suffer delays. Well, none of that might, an unmet player has has built the Adam Adam and Monkey, but it's probably fine. Okay, I, I think we I think we've stabilized down here. I think we've stabilized. <laughs> I'm a cunnable. How's it going? Okay. 
Okay, so I'm thinking here. I'm, I'm making thinking noises. Could we build an aqueduct? So here's, here's my thinking. Here's my thinking. Aqueduct here. Hercules builds that shit. And then when we have, when we can, we will pump out an industrial zone on this marsh, which will give it even more production. Well, honestly, I don't even know. I don't even fucking know how, um, I don't know how, like, this zo this particular zombie plague is a mystery to me. I don't know how it transmisses. It might be a disease or it might be, like, a magical curse. Maybe we'll find out later. There's just another one, isn't there? Fuck off! Fuck off! Haven't you done enough? I need Herc to go somewhere else for now, which is kind of scary. I admit it. It's scary. But I need him to go somewhere else for now. I'm going to use his last charge to build a holy site. I wish... Oh, that, that steam vent is really juicy. I just... I can't quite... I can't quite stick anything there, you know? cannot quite stick um a, a campus there even though it'd be fucking it would be it would be delicious that campus would live deliciously all right so nidoros has walls now which sort of sucks But I, I do have it within me to, like, build a catapult. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and recruit Siddhartha. He will, he will have something to do soon. government plaza. Let's build a stables so we can start pumping out horse lords. In night, in night. So Siddhartha will we'll go over here. Buy that. Oh wait, no, I can't chop those. That's where those, where the holy site has to go. Hmm. You know, I think like I think actually, um, Victor is Victor is kind of good here. Cause he like he makes the garrison stronger. Maybe 
I should have put them elsewhere. Alright, so Hercules needs to go here. Brains! They want my brains! Unfortunately, I, I did take a big sippy, thank you. Fortunately, um, the zombies don't seem that interested in pillaging tiles. If they did, we might be in trouble. That might be like too much. Damn it. Fuck off. If, like, the zombies also just wrecked all of your tiles, th this might be, like, a borderline unbeatable mode. Okay. Holy sight. Okay, now we can found our religion. And go back to building the statue of Zeus. Alright, which one of these animals do you think would be best at killing zombies? Wait, elephants. Elephants. It's just elephant. <laughs> Alright, so let's see what we got here. Work ethic is always good, um, but I feel like uh, we're not going to build that many holy sites, so it might be better. I think I'm actually going to go for reliquaries because I've gotten a lot of heroes this game. Um, Sacred places might be good, but we don't have any wonders yet. Um, the Gurdwara. Stupa. We do want to build tall, so I think I'm going to go for the Gurdwara. is the true path to we salvation. We have exact religious thinking without theology. I help, but I don't. I don't have anybody to spare. walls will prevent any like serious damage from being done as as annoying as zombies are oh my god dude <laughs> seriously are you for real right now the pope's gonna get it oh wait no he's fucking the zombies are being distracted by the foolishness of Harold. 
I haven't tried any of the traps yet. I might need to. Listen, if we can just get to elephants. They're so fucking strong. We actually just need to get this guy in the city. Well, it's a good thing I spammed walls. All right, so the vampire, at the very least, the vampire is like he's he's good to go again. He can ha he can help out. I will send him down there. I care about my own cities more than the Vatican. But I can send Hercules up to help. That's so many zombies, dude. Again, the walls are holding strong for now. But good golly, Miss Molly, this is a bad, this is a bad scene. This might be the first game of this I've ever played where I actually upgrade from ancient walls because we fucking need them. Alright, this, this guy has to heal. My fucking literal ass kingdom for iron. How did you get here? I have actually never played Georgia. I've never played Georgia before because I don't like faith civilizations that much. But faith is kind of overpowered right now. Now the barbarians are here. I gotta, I gotta focus on the zombies though, they're the bigger threats. Oh 
Holy shit, dude! Oh no, I'm just, this, this archer's just dead! I'm sorry, Vatican City, you're on your fucking own. <laughs> I can't risk losing Hercules at this juncture. I, I, I think I need to, like, switch production to Horseman's. Remember that people break down too, not just machinery. Can I even survive? <laughs> Can I even survive? Okay, so the horseman <laughs> Sorry, I'm deep in the think tank here. The horseman can reinforce Cologne here. That'll make its combat strength quite a bit less dire. gonna have Hercules post up there and fortify. Those pyramids are never getting done, dude. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh god, clone! like one hope here. I don't even know if this is gonna oh, no I don't have enough faith I could have no oh, no oh no oh no 
Like, I think I just gotta, like, smash into the zombie here. I gotta weaken him as much as possible. Like, this might just- this might just be it for Cologne, and that's so sad. I might reload an earlier save to see if I can, like, perhaps manipulate this in such a way that it doesn't end this way. If I, like, maybe if I present this juicy warrior as a target, it'll go after the warrior instead of the city. No. It's just fucking gone! No! I refuse this fate! I refuse this fate! We go back a few turns here. hard. This is just Prince. Is it even like, it must take like a lot of work to like do this on de deity mode and not die forever. From humble beginnings you have shown remarkable growth. Leave your bronze for iron. And I would with fucking love to but there's no the iron begins to where I settled and I can't settle anywhere else because they'll get immediately nuked by the zombie hearts. hordes guides us to foreign shores back to you your people ah. will remember you as a goddess stand against those who would try to rein in your storm and raise your sword in defiance Not I thought I had a good enough defense but I was wrong I was so wrong I know my people pay the price Alright, so the first thing I need to do, I think, is I need to get this horse here now to beef up the combat strength of the city. Horse must be there now, not later. Hi, dog Ant, how's it going? I wish I could, like, pillage my own plantation. Like, for real, for real. <laughs> it's not going well! foresight to get this guy the hell out of dodge I may have had to reload due to a catastrophe but it's okay I think I can I think I can optimize things and do them better and then I can build like a fuck ton of horsemans gonna build well that could build me shopping malls for a while though we will eventually if I can make it that far slow our rolls here. Now, if I can get Elephant, if Elephant is in my destiny. Oh my god, 
I don't have enough money for it though. I wonder if I could like extort some money from the AI. If I could just be like, uh, do you want some stuff? Do you want some delicious tea? Some coffee beans maybe? Move this guy here. Like, I would love to trade Harold for iron, but he's a fucking dope. <laughs> it's literally impossible. It can't be done. This wounded ass archer is just like fucking plinking away from back there. I thought all of my I thought all of my walls, all of, all of my encampments, I thought I thought they would be sufficient, but I was wrong. I was wrong. My defenses are not nearly as impregnable as I believed. I still think this mode is cool. Like it's way harder than I envisioned, but I Remember still think that it's people cool. Break down too. Not just machinery. Like this is just a very different kind of challenge, I think. Do I just rush castles actually? No, I should. I think getting the industrial zones will help a lot. Four hundred and thirty five gold. Like, we'll get it, we'll get El Elefante eventually, but like, God, <laughs> need more money. Zombies down. I think Cologne is mostly safe for now. Hawkins fine. The walls are still up, but I will have to repair them. We just need horse. We need horseman. Let's get rid of this zombie. If I could like get some men at arms. All right, all right, who would have money? Harold, Harold. <laughs> give, give me your money. You're not willing to trade money, you motherfucker. The curses. A uh, lady six guy. shape than we were at least. Wait, did I not attack with that? Whatever. Why? Why won't anyone trade with me? I'm dying, Squirtle! Get 
Okay. Alright, so the threat to Aachen is over, but I kind of immediately... I need to repair the walls somehow, but it's, I, I guess like I don't have that available to me right now. Alright, so like, by comparison, the barbarians aren't shit. By comparison, the barbarians don't matter. Fortify up, fortify up. This is fucking final battle for the fate of the world. I'm, I'm sure there'll be many more battles, actually. Just keep fortifying. Bonk. I need more heroes, I think. How? Why? Right, well, Hercules can just like hold the pass. He'll be fine. He has the power of God and anime on his side. Vampire has finally gotten to where Vampire needs to be. Get some damage down on this archer here. So, like, stabilization is commencing. We're not in terrible shape. Like, we're in pretty bad shape, but, like, we're not about to die. And, you know, I call- I think that's a victory. I like to- I like to think of the world as, you know, half full. Yes. Give me your money. <laughs> give me your money, you son of a bitch! The walls hold. I hope. Please. <laughs> it's half full of zombies. Oh, jeez. I have bought myself a moment's reprieve to the south. But I have to do something about this iron situation. Do I just build like a, a ridiculously bad city on this wheat just for iron? I think I have to. I'm not getting anywhere without it. There 
is no easy way to train an apprentice. My two tools are example and nagging. Then again, if we like go right for niter, maybe we can bypass it. Maybe we can bypass it. All right, everybody just chill. Just take five. It's going to be okay now, I swear. I mean, unless you live up here, in which case this is actually looking pretty bad again. <laughs> Fuck! Right, so we're kind of just waiting for, like, the magic number, you know? We, we, need, we need more gold. Just gonna continue to have them smash into Hercules. <laughs> Herculon. I, I'm, I'm really having to like uh, take advantage. I'm really having to take advantage of like terrain. Terrain and walls and all that shit. Oh no. I love the chain bonking on Herc, though. He is truly a hero in this game. Just have him get rid of this. <laughs> yeah, get out of here. Get out of here, you son of a bitch. So we've completed the stable. More horsies. Oh cool, we've completed the walls too, so we can fin finally fucking we can finally fucking finish these pyramids after five thousand years. have to retreat this guy. Warriors are simply not cutting it anymore. Okay, and it, we're mostly okay up here. Shit, dude. All right, so fruit. I'm gonna save. I'm gonna save. Well, actually, no. Should I? I want to save, I want to save Mr. Kalias. Um, to like make a... 
to make a corporation later. I don't think like an extra luxury is really going to help me out right now. What? <laughs> Why are you here? Okay, so actually I'm going to do I'm going to do something a little goofy. <laughs> do something slightly goof troop here. You see, I want feudalism to finish so I can get the serfdom and get an extra charge on the builder that's going to pop out of the pyramid. Vampire versus zombie. Eternal battle. So Hercules no longer has any charges to build. All right, and Vilnius has walls. That's really good news. All right, I will. I guess I'll just send him up to deal with the straggler. Like I don't even care that much about Vilnius's well-being. <laughs> On oh, God, I just don't care that much. But the fact of the matter is, it's a distraction. The fact of the matter is, in democracy. Okay. Cool. Gonna slot in Surfdom. Um, and I'm also gonna put in Feudal Contract. Oh, Mercenaries is actually gonna be Pog as fuck. Mercenaries is actually going to be Ultra Pog. Because that'll cut the cost of upgrading my archers in half. We can finally have Elephant. Good Lord God. <laughs> oh my Jesus. We're gonna need a lot of elephants. Zombies, why don't you attack Lady Six Guy? What about that, huh? Wouldn't that be fun and not me? Alright, I want to change. Change. The pyramid's out. And I'm going to need to repair these walls eventually. Look. From the height of these pyramids, 40 centuries look All right, it's been like a billion turns, but we finally have our first wonder. All right, cool. And we have our builder too. 
Look at him, he's got six charges. Um, I feel like we need more money. I feel like money's required. Now we can chop out this industrial zone. Oh, we have horses. We have horse lords. That's really useful. Zeus is also almost done, which will give us like a huge number of units to play with. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I had. Arad, what a huge number of units to play with. How's that? Did you like that? Did you like that one? What well, did you? Wonders. Wonders are one per game. You can't have duplicados. Upon the head of the god was an olive crown. In his right hand he bore a winged figure of victory. Victory! Well, it's like, that's totally reasonable. What wonder spamming is why you play Civ, to have, like, the Temple of Zeus and shit. Alright, my knowledge of Butresses have increased. <laughs> Behold my power! I should probably retreat Herc. <laughs> we also have a battering ram just cause. question is I believe I can put okay so I think what I can do well first I need to repair outer defenses <laughs> first I need to repair some outer defenses I'm actually gonna wait to promote any of my archer, my archers, my orchers. That might that might strike you as a little strange, but there's a method to my madness. I'll get more era score if I just wait. Right, so let's go ahead and do some more chops. Just absolutely shotgun out some shit here. What 
that guides me is not dying to zombies. So we're almost done. We almost know where Niter is. And if God willing, God motherfucking willing, oh, I can turn the undead if I have a holy site. That's kind of fucked up. All right, um. I'm actually just going to do a devotion to Beowulf here because he's strong. Right, let's finish up the commercial hub. Or haunts. I'm going to purchase um, a builder with faith. Start building a market to get some trade routes going. Other floodplain. I don't know. I simply do not know. there for a potential commercial hub. Alright, um, I guess I'll move this guy up here and start like making some sick ass lumber mills. We've finally achieved a measure of stability. But we can't rest on our laurels. Our literal ass laurels here. We must push back against our foe. <laughs> the only game you play is Rimworld? I mean, it's a good one. It's like, it's a good one to only play, I think. So I could, like, I could smoosh Norway beneath my boot if I wanted to. I just kind of don't. It's kind of a pain right now. So we've, we have completed our industrial zone. Now the question to me, now what? Oh, it must be built on desert hills. I have none. <laughs> um.
I think it's just, I think it's just Thawn. <laughs> I think it's just Thawn. Nidoros is probably worth taking. It's just that I, I fear, I fear, I have a visceral fear of like leaving any of my cities unattended. The zombies are so scary. They're so powerful. They're fucking up look the mobble. I do have this battering ram. <laughs> maybe I can, maybe I can like use the battering ram in conjunction with Hercules, just bust into Nidoros. That might actually be the play. I don't usually use like siege support units. They're kind of weird. But they're not bad, I don't think. If you get like a free one from Statue of Zeus. All right, let's chop this out. I'm trying to be better about chopping. I normally just like to build like a shit ton of lumber mills, but like Vietnam actually gains a lot from chopping because they can actually very quickly, they can actually very quickly um, replant trees and then chop them again. Get the industrial zone started, but I think I'd rather have a market. This fucking life and death struggle versus the undead is way more intense than I anticipated. They know not fear nor self-preservation. Only hunger. Like, I'll, I'll take a fucking free builder. <laughs> More. Organisms don't think of CO2 as a poison. Plants and organisms that make shells, coral, think of it as a building block. Th th there was just the great coral reef there. <laughs> there was just the great coral reef there. I can actually smoosh a camp. To, I, 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 I can smoosh a campus district there. It was right there all along, and I just didn't have time to send a unit to look for it. Oh my gosh. Dire straits, we're in dire straits. Poke. Right, well, the horse guys, they're letting us fight on like equal footing. Blast, build. And now we know where Niter is, and we need to find like, we must find and secure Niter immediately. 
Oh, there's some right out of reach. You'd, you'd hate to see it. Um, I'm actually being trolled right now. I have actually been fucking trolled right now. <laughs> Nightmare! Okay, okay, I have an idea. If I put a city here... Yes, yeah, so if I put a city here... Then I can get like a lot of goodies and I can also get like a good harbor. Yeah, if I just found a place on the forest, I can get like a nice good harbor. I don't have like perfect housing, but it's fine. Oh, for fuck's sake, why is there a zombie at the Great Barrier Reef? Most heartbreaking thing I've ever seen. I'm, I'm trying to think here. <laughs> like, those are some of the worst nighter spawns imaginable. Probably get mathematics. It, we, we have... Oh no. I hate it, thanks. All right. Hercule has uh, Hercule. Hercules has six turn to live. So let's just fucking go. Let's just fucking take revenge. Lad. So there are some shops we can do here. Some shops we must do here, honestly. time to like be a good steward of the environment. <laughs> I simply don't have the time or the luxury. I will take that. Free charge. Good lord, walk above all. Okay. In peace, I don't care. Professional army, get that shit. I guess I should wait for the fire to go out before I try to repair it. Maybe I jump the gun a little. All right. Now, if we switched, um, I 
can't I put something? Oh, because there's no woods on it. I forgot. I'm Vietnam. <laughs> FML. I'm thinking, I'll just build a water mill for now. No, I want to be careful about chopping down rainforest here because I eventually want Chichen Itza. I would eventually like a Chichen Itza. Oh build a thingy there, a plantation. I don't even know like when the medieval era starts, so I think I just gotta fucking deal. Gotta get an elephant. Elephant time! Elephant time! Chop this down next turn. You put a mine there. Don't touch my pyramids. I worked hard on them. Barbarians can't pillage wonders, but it's like, come on. Be nice. Yeah, most of my cities do have thorns, actually. Like, there's one building here. Oh, that's right. You can't do that. I forgot. Oh, well. You can still replant it, and you can still put a, you can still put a lumber mill on it. So, like, whatever. <laughs> Elephant power! Barricade, but is that like. I don't know. I don't know. No, I don't really know where like a good place to build a barricade is. So I think I'm just gonna build a mine. More production. Hello, Anajan Law. Welcome, welcome. I mean, I'm holding my own, which is about as much as I can ask for. My own is being held here. And we do have elephants, so that's good. We do have motherfucking elephants. Nice great prophet. Nice John the Baptist idiot. Chop this out. There we go. Got another thon. Oh, 
Uh, yeah, I think you can do that as, as China. That is an option for Chinese empires. But we don't, we don't need that. We need elephant. We require elephant. And money to pay for elephants. Elephants are expensive. This time, you will not repel me. Oh, I got Euclid. Euclid sucks. I'm passing on him. <laughs> I already have all of that. How are you still alive? Mommy's fucking suck, dude. I mean, I mean, like, they don't suck. They're, like, actually ridiculously powerful, but that's the problem. They suck to deal with. shot. Now we need to repair this because it got burned down for some reason. from the Vatican City, but they have literally no units because of zombies, so, you know. Hercules has three turns to live. ever get to the point where it's like it's not a huge pain in the ass to deal with zombies. Die. I doubt it. I think they're just gonna like they're just gonna keep coming. <laughs> they will forever keep coming and it's gonna suck. Retreat this horse man. Just get some of these bandit and captains for gold infusion. It'd be pretty good, is what I'm saying. Chop! Finances aren't looking great, is the thing. Just 
she doesn't like me because I have inflicted grievances upon others. Without mathematics, there's nothing. I don't do. think I'll be developing a diplomatic quarter of this game. I don't have very many people to diplomify with. Let's go for castles. Hello, Gloomy. Welcome, welcome. I don't think there's going to be much diplomatizing going on here. My my zombie diplomacy has not gone well so far. Um, I mean we're surviving. Survival is happening here. All right, so the walls are down. That makes my job like way, way easier. He can't counterattack now, and I do have enough beef this time. Well, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. We do have enough just overall, like, manpower now to actually take this, I'm pretty sure. And I can finally get this fucking iron. Oh, right, this guy. Uh, what do we do with him? Make some lumber mills. What a question. Lumber is what we do with him. No, Herculon. He served us so very well. Mine. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I think that spearman might be fucked. <laughs> buy it yet. Okay. In that case, I will probably continue my military build-up. Actually, no, I'll build a trader. Okay, what do I want to do in this city? Bilber? Like, this would be a shitty Petra. But I'm not sure I'm going to get a better Petra. <laughs> this would be a garbage-ass Petra. And that's just like 60 turns of doing nothing when I could be doing something at least a little useful. Um, we do kind of need science. Well, like, the thing is, there's no good, like, science zones here, so I guess I'll just water mill.
Okay, so I think, like, I could actually just, um, I could actually just swoop in and declare war on Lady Six Guy and just knock her out. Because I think zombies can't actually take capitals. So that's just gonna, that's just gonna remain that way for a little while, I think. Welcome, welcome. Zombies are proving to be rather tricky opponents. Oh my god. Zombies aren't good at governing. Zombies are not good at governing. They're better! <laughs> when compared, they're better! pop up I guess just like occasionally you just get fucking zombie you get zombled I need more elephants for this I actually have a strange kind of idea. I know I'm going to take the city, but I kind of want faith right now. So I can just repair that. I can just repair that. Because I can use faith I can use faith to immediately pump out a settler while I still have monumentality on. Producing much faith on my own because I have I have a one holy site. It's currently occupied by zombies. literally just pop up in your territory is very disconcerting. Very fucked up. <laughs> yep, that's sure a fuck ton of zombies right now. 28 mutation strength? Oh, Jesus. How do I even win this game, though? I 
I have not tried kissing the zombies. I don't think it'll work. There's nothing from this poke. I'll pretend I'm helping. I'll pretend I'm helping. She'll never see it coming. So, I think we can most afford to get the settler Damn it. next turn. We can get the settler next turn, escort them over here, and get some of that niter. My, I truly, truly hope that with gunpowder we can, you know, we can do a little bit better against the zombies. Gorgo or something. I would be like Max Culture by now. You're right to worry. Alright, well, this spearman's fucked. This guy also sucks. <laughs> my elephants. My elephant's pretty strong. Well, that's bad. need to get this done now. I feel like if nothing goes hideously wrong here, should be able to take this next turn and then defend it from the zombies. They're everywhere. cities are even good. <laughs> I'm just sort of trying to take her out of the game. Like this, this, I, this is actually kind of a disaster capital for her. I'm doing her a favor. You are filled with the power of code regulation beavers. Hell yeah! Thank you so much next time! I'm filled with power!
Goodbye, Mr. Spearman. They just keep coming. So it's fine to play recklessly with your vampire. Because your vampire cannot die. It's sort of their thing. Oh wait, she got Niter. This was a genius move. Damn, I must be a genius. help back. So the thing about the Volshen is that actually it has like ridiculous melee strength too. Like it's an elephant. It's an elephant. why they're attacking me. I guess it's like the man the man's or suzerain or something. Bye Mr. Vampire. See you next time. Oh he's still alive. No he's not. He's dead Jim. Stomp stomp. Alright, so that, um, that scout attacking is actually really good. It's all papers and forms. The entire civil service is like a fort. So I think I can save that. We need... I, I think it's medieval affairs that let you, um... Lamoga22, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. I think it's medieval affairs that let you replant trees. Let me check. Yes, okay. That'll be a big one. Come and help out up there. Now you might say, why am I fighting so much when there's zombies? But you see, the zombies offer the perfect opportunity for easy victories. And I've been holding on to this guy for no reason. Um, go ahead and build a mine here. All right, let's start. Let's start some trade routes. Finally, have like literally any sort of economy.
Um, it's not just going to be Halloween karaoke, though. There will be other stuff. I'm thinking about, um, I'm thinking that if I meet the goal, um, I think that I will also... Stomp, stomp. I think, oh, god damn it, now there's a fucking boat there. <laughs> All right, hold on. We gotta, we gotta rethink this. We gotta, we gotta rethink this. We gotta reconsider our plan of attack. We can use the zombies once again to our advantage. Um, I think that if I meet the incentive, I'm gonna like, like, once like the party is over and it's like it's dark, I'm gonna play Fatal Frame and be really scared because I know people love that. I know people are fucking like ridiculous. Get that guy out before I forget. People, people love to see the beaver scared. It's twisted. It's vile, but it's true. Don't. <laughs> My elephant is too powerful for you. Ow. Oh, Jesus Christ, hell ass. Ghosts for real, I would simply take a picture of them. I misclicked. Oh well. <laughs> Sorry, the zombie fatigue is setting in. So my, my plan, my cutting plan here um, is that I want the zombie to attack the city for me. Oh, god damn it. I fucked this up really bad. <laughs> I, I mis-microed my units in the turn-based game. Cool. Yes, fight for me, my minions. No! Minions! Bad minions! <laughs> the fucking standing army that you need to deal with zombies is ridiculous. Trying to figure out like what the most efficient way to like get rid of them is. 
I think it's like actually you get medieval walls. <laughs> I'm trying, I'm trying. It is a risk to go all the way over here, but I feel like it'll be okay. Oh my god. <laughs> I feel like it'll be- oh my goodness. I can attack without worrying about losing the chariot, so that's okay. Move up to the next marsh. I'm helping. I guess we'll just have the spearman chill until it's like time to take Nidaros. <laughs> John the Baptist is on his little island. He's on John the Baptist Island. He's ruminating on matters most portentous. But I gotta be right back. I'll be right back. Be right back. Observe him. Behold him. Hello. How's it going? Oh no. Um. I don't actually, I, I will admit this much, I don't know what the fuck, um. I don't know what happens when zombies, like, uh. Take, like, a capital that you've taken? Does it, like, give it back to the first person? Or is it just, like, I don't know. Oh, 
world enters the medieval era. Um, I think Free Inquiry, in, Free Inquiry is the play. I'll go ahead and recruit Marcus Licinius Crassus. Left it too late for this to be like a Warlord's Throne game. I'll, I'll probably just do Ancestral Hall. Wait, no. I'll probably just do Audience Chamber. Alright, so we've completed the devotion to a Beowulf. And he's gonna fucking murder some dudes. Because he can just delete a man. deleted and you don't have to worry about it anymore holy Jesus Now, the question here that I have is... Do I use Marcus? Or do I, um... Do I save him for a corpo? I am cert- I am a little uncertain. I think I actually kind of need the gold now, so I'm going to have to go for the anti-macro play as much as it pains me. I guess we'll just see what happens. No, leave me alone. The World Congress, you say? Don't die to zombies. Alright, so it looks like we still have... We still have that capital. So, like, capitals are kind of like bulwarks.
Yeah, speed the vampire. Capitals aren't easily taken out. Beowulf is coming to kill you. If we grab these, we can actually make like a, a tea industry. So that's good. Tea is delicious. Alright. So this is like. <laughs> I'm terrified. Zombies. I might be able to like rebase um, Beowulf down there. So I I'm pretty sure like the zombies will just keep throwing themselves against the capital city they can't actually take. It's just like, whatever, dude, they, it's not my city. That shit don't matter to me. Sun Tzu. That's actually pretty good. <laughs> Great generals are powerful when you fight a lot. Alright, so if I put a Thon here, what do I put a Thon there? <laughs> thon here, Thon there, Thon everywhere. We'll have Beowulf will annihilate this man. He will simply eat him to another dimension. still have him fortify up. So like my, my strat here is I'm just gonna keep attacking Nidoros with the elephant until the elephant promotes and that's like a free heal and you know it's also just good. So 
some very interesting strats are being employed. <laughs> some very interesting strats are being employed here. But we do what we have to to survive the zombies. If you see a castle under. I mean, that's a good one. Now we could do. Theater Square. Actually, wait. I want to. I want to send Sun Tzu up here. Oh Jesus! <laughs> Strategy, strategy. storm Right, so the the elephant is a good deal more important than the chariot. So if I hide the elephant in the city, it can continue to take pot shots and stuff. They're too strong. Zombies are way too strong, dude. It's tail time! Thanks. <gasps> Alright, so what I'm gonna do, I think. Now, what I'm not certain of is. Builds. Never mind. I'll, I'll find out. I'll find out. Will it be an adventure? Right, so, Beowulf. He goes down here. Sun Tzu goes up here. Grants a combat bonus. If 
fighting is sure to result in victory, then you must fight. I'll just fortify up on the pasture. <laughs> Listen, as far as I'm aware, this is all accurate history. This sounds like something Sun Tzu would do. Oh, that's a lot of gold, but I'm so close. Everybody loves Team Fortress the second. I mean, I do. <laughs> It's been a while since I played it was a good ass game. Why'd you have to go for that guy? Rude. Overwatch 2 certainly seems to be having some problems. Our people. So, annihilate this guy. Like, generally speaking, I, I don't like to just like, um... Alright, I think we have finally freed Wak Kavnal. From the tyranny of zombie. All right, so let me think here. Let's see, for the sake of argument, we've plunked down a- no, I don't think any of this works. Unless I can, like, unless I can plant woods on floodplains, I don't think I can. <laughs> this is a good video game! I think this is a good game. Uh, there's like no way to do this, is there? I just can't get a melee unit up there. Wait, what if? What if I built a barricade? Emergency barricade. I think is the problem. 
I just don't have enough elephants. Such a simple solution. Jesus Christ, that one zombie is just going beast mode. Time of my victory is nearly at hand. I just gotta get this horse bro up. I just gotta get this horse what? This horse man's. It's the Lord of Horses. With enough elephants, anything is possible. Die! Why? God, you can just fucking bust through cities. wrong. Listen, if I just have enough elephants, if I just have enough elephants, I can make it. Okay, so Harold's finally fucking dead. Harold is finally out of my hair. Who will not stand the test of time. Keep that shit. a source of iron after like literally 3,000 years. Blisters is not gold. Often have you heard that told. 
So like, the thing about this game is like, um, actually, hold on. The thing about this game, this particular game, <laughs> these are useless. Diplomatic policy slots are actually useless as fuck because I have, there's like two city states left. Alright. So, um, Tikal is actually, like, really bad. I don't want this city. It, it's literally a liability. Alright, and we're gonna put... We're gonna put another promotion in, in uh, the Sanguine Pact. Because it'll let us get some very powerful things. We now have another vampire. We now have another vampire. And they, we can now build a vampire castle. Which is something you don't like super understand how it works. It's kind of weird. It's kind of like, huh? like acts as a fort but it also gives your capital um powerful bonuses i think but like the thing of it is i don't know if it needs to be like a work tile Mr. Crassus for this. So basically what a vampire castle does is like you slap it down and it like takes all of the yields around it and like sort of combines it into one. So like ideally this might actually be a good place for one just from like a purely macro perspective. Cause like these are some good ass yields over here. Just like naturally. This baby can hold so many yields. It can. It fucking can. All right. Well, we still have a fucking crisis over here. Wait. Should probably deal with this barbarian camp. How is it that the barbarians have learned to coexist with the zombies? What is their secret? Inventions have been so simple as the stirrup, but few. <laughs> Eventually. Eventually. 
eventually that wall will be done! Alright, um, gunpowder. He's got a couple armories building. We should have him repair some stuff. Alright, so like, we no longer have any more wars to persecute, right? We no longer have any more wars to persecute. This continent is ours, except for zombies. And believe me, that's like bad enough. <laughs> I, I feel like that's probably going to take more than enough of our attention. I wonder, could I get away with like a super sick Petra here? I think I might be able to. Like provided I could keep it defended, I mean. out. Here's Beowulfu. <laughs> Get destroyed, asshole! And I think we just gotta start building medieval walls, like, literally everywhere. Literally everywhere that can, medieval walls. money to upgrade my unit, so I'm gonna go for some international, and by international I mean, you know, city-state trade routes. Huh, alright. So if we pull it down a city right there, we get like a lot of good yields if we get Petra up and running. built like a lovely vampire castle on the coast. Get a horse, but better. <laughs> uh, retreat. What if we got a horse, but better? Oh, I have another governor promotion, don't I? Yeah, 
Does Beowulf have any charges left? I don't think he does. I'm, I'm not sure that, I mean, thank you for, thanks for coming, but I, I'm not sure this is a game where numbers will ever actually go up. They, the, the zombies just keep getting stronger. It's terrifying. At least there's elephants. You know, at least there's some elephants. All right, well, I think that this has gone on long enough, actually. I don't think it's gonna get any better from here, but at least we survived to like the medieval era. like put in some serious thought now like how would you survive this I think I gotta like look up a YouTube video or something just like has anybody ever beaten zombies mode my ancient walls. Nobody's even built the great bath yet. That's usually something that the fucking AI just like rushes for. archers that can like really effectively kite is pretty good especially against the zombies especially against these terrifying motherfuckers let me think here um let's go ahead and flank um Raina in 
Kualu. Well, whatever. I'm losing brain power. I'm losing brain cells. Anyway, um, thank you all for watching today. I know it was a, a little bit slapdash, a little bit impromptu, a little bit fucked up and weird, but um, I had fun. I, I had fun with the zombie and vampire mode. Um, and tomorrow, tomorrow, we're gonna play um, Super Ghouls and Ghosts and maybe some more Castlevania Bloodlines practice. Uh, maybe some other stuff, just like depending on how how long things take. And then it's the weekend. Yay! Uh, so I was in by rating. Uh, I'm sorry, is anybody streaming? <laughs> I don't want to knock out remake. I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll try to. I'll try to. Let's go ahead and raid Vickis, I guess. chill tomorrow um and i'm sure i'll have something to say in the discord later but good night goodbye good luck <laughs> good freaking luck pal <laughs>